So this is like your worst nightmare coming true. Um, you know how you're always on the side of the other side, hearing about you know terror attacks that happen, and you know it's always happening to somebody else. And I was just having a regular evening. I was working at home, and uh, my husband came in and he said that uh, he said that there'd been a terror attack and that we had to go straight away to the hospital. And um, we just just took my telephone and my sidur and we just ran out of the house. And we were driving on the road and. My husband told me, Chaim, that uh, Amichai, our Khatan, our uh, son-in-law, had had called and um, that he was in an ambulance and that there'd been a, a shooting. We didn't even know about the shooting. Sorry. And um, basically, um, as we were riding, driving, riding to the hospital, we saw all the police cars coming the other way. It just felt so surreal. And we got to the got to the hospital and um, we were told that our daughters in very, very difficult situation that she was shot um, in her lower abdomen and that um, they were going to have to do a C-section and take the baby out. And she was only 30 weeks. And, um, and they said to us that obviously the most important thing is to save her. And we said, obviously. And so they did it, and that was at 10 o'clock at night. And the doctors, they told us that 20 people were in the in the surgery room until four o'clock in the morning, and we were just up the whole night. I just said saying tealim after tealim after tealim after tealim, just very tense. And in the middle of it, in the middle of it, they came out and told us that they'd be in a very big um, progress, and then suddenly they came out and said that um, there's some problem and. And um, we had to wait about an hour and a half to find out that she actually was going to make it. And um, and then they, they took her away. And and Amichai, he knew that he'd been shot three times. And but we knew it wasn't such a big injury. Um, what big injury? I mean, he, you know, his life wasn't in any danger. Um, our daughter, the bullet went through her body. Complete miracle. Missed all her major organs and. Um, Mr. had entered through her lower abdomen. I think went out, out through the back. I don't. I don't even remember anymore. But she's got a very, very long path of recovery ahead of her. Today, well, they've, they've got. She's got so many. Um, you know, so, so many uh, tubes inside her that they in her mouth. They have to keep her under in order to help her to get better. And uh, slowly, slowly, they lower the dosage of the of the anesthet. You know, they lower the dosage so that she wakes up a little bit. And uh, today she woke up and she asked for me, and obviously I came running and um, she just held my hand and squeezed it. The tears were just running down her face. I don't know how much she understands about what's going on. She's obviously very confused. And um, we just keep davening for her recovery and for the recovery of her baby who is, you know, needs a lot of prayers. He was born in the 30th week and she lost a huge amount of blood, so the baby's in danger, and uh, that's the situation.